Now that's a comfy looking love seat right there. Hey everybody, this is Robin and Miko from Wander Open Roads. So we have an Integra Esteem Class C um, that we've had for a year now. And we love just about everything about this RV. Except for this couch. <laughs> and it's a nice couch and obviously over a year it's not really worn or anything like that. It's actually well built. The only problem is it doesn't lean back enough to like really get comfortable. So um, when we out camping, we spend a lot of time hiking and on the lake, but we also like to spend a lot of time just lounging in front of the TV and relaxing. And so having comfortable seating is really important for us. Yes. Even in our last rig, um, the couch that came with the rig was okay but when we were sitting and watching movies it just became very uncomfortable over time so we ended up taking it out and replacing it with a different sofa yep sure did so here we are in our new rig with practically a brand new sofa but we kind of find ourselves at the same place so we looked at camping world and we also looked at uh, rec pro and they both had love seats that would fit kind of in this space yeah definitely and through our research there was one name that really stood out from all the rest and it was thomas Payne. So when we go to RV shows and we check out all the new RVs that are coming out, the ones that we pretty much get excited about are the ones that have Thomas Paine recliners in them. So Absolutely. So once we saw that they had that available at Camping World, it was like, well, no brainer. That's going to make the decisions. So we ordered it. It took how long? Uh, about three weeks. Yeah. Okay, so it took um, three weeks um, for us to get it. it each um, section of the love seat came in its own separate box. Um, unfortunately, we didn't um, record the unboxing of it. And in the box, they come in two pieces. So we got two boxes, and then we have four pieces total. Yep. The assembly of it looks um, pretty easy. I mean, it's just you kind of set the bottom piece in place. <laughs> And then yeah. you sit the back on and... Pretty easy for me. <laughs> um, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty good to go after that. So um, we're going to go ahead and just kind of show what it's going to take to take our existing sofa out. And then also installing the new um, love seat recliners. And we'll see how this goes. Hopefully this won't be too bad. So with all projects, there's always the unexpected. So in this case, we end up having to take the couch apart in a couple of different pieces in order to get it through the RV door, which, you know, those things are notoriously skinny, but we were able to do so. Uh, with that though, you, you definitely need a helper on this. I definitely would not have been able to do this without my wife, so thanks. Okay, so the assembly looks fairly simple. We have these two brackets right here with these sleeve receivers right here. And then we have these two pieces right here. It looks like it just slides on. So let's give it a shot. Not bad. So as you can see, there's only half of our lovely couch. The problem is that uh, when we ordered it from Camping World, we ordered a left hand and a right hand, and they ended up sending us two right hand pieces, even though 
the box actually said left hand and right hand. We have a problem. Please press two. For product related questions, please press three. You hear these options? So, called up Camping World and they're supposed to be sending us a replacement piece. We'll send back the other one. But unfortunately, now that's going to put, put us out a couple more weeks before we're able to complete the project. So, oh well. Okay, so after we took out the love seat couch that was that came with the RV and we started to install our reclining love seats we noticed that there was a gap underneath the slide and so we really didn't want to be able to see underneath there so I just took some fabric that I had at home and kind of cut it down to make like a skirt for the slide out and so now we have this side done and we just nailed or nailed these down to the slide and so now once we're done and the other love seat is put here you won't be able to see under this slide out which will be nice okay so now we have both pieces the actual lower base pieces of the of the love seat and each one actually the the left, I'm sorry, the, the right arm piece is going to fit into the left hand piece. If you come a little closer here, you can see down here at the bottom. So I'm pulling the recliners out to make sure that they're actually connected underneath. And then this backing piece will go on just like that. So we are finally finished with the install of our new Thomas Paine reclining love seats. So excited, kind of tired, but finally get to test it out. All right, so it is a pull handle. We decided not to get the electric. All right, so this is in just kind of the sitting up reclining position and then you push back to recline further. All right, so now I can relax and watch TV on my new reclining love seat. Love it. Hey guys, so it's been about two months since we did the installation on this couch and uh, I am very happy oh yeah I was honestly a little skeptical in the beginning of how this whole process was gonna turn out but honestly I'm now thinking man why didn't we do this sooner exactly very happy with what we selected I'm really glad that we got the the fabric in, instead of the pleather um, very happy with that we went with the, the uh, Thomas Payne product. It's very comfortable, um, even just sitting in it. Obviously, you can recline, you can lay all the way back. I mean, you can do all those things with it, and it is extremely comfortable. We watched a lot of TV, a lot of movies, and it's great because you don't have to, you know, alternate the uh, cheeks. <laughs> True, and um, we've been on the road, you know, for two months now, and it's nice, you know, at the end of the day, after at least I've stopped working, to, to have a nice comfy couch to kind of relax on. So, very happy with this purchase. It is super comfortable. I mean, I just really couldn't believe that um, 
sofa would be this comfortable but it actually is i think it goes great with the color scheme that we have here in the rig of course you know women we would be very concerned with kind of the look of everything just making sure that we have that kind of consistent look and feel that we want to have so again whenever we're going to make a change it makes me a little nervous because i'm just wondering okay in the end what is it going to look like how is it going to function but this has been a great um replacement addition to the rig so i'm very happy definitely so thanks for joining us um for this product review of the thomas Payne love seat recliner great purchase well worth the money absolutely and we will put the product information in the description so if you feel the need you can go get one too so thanks again See you next time. Be sure to check out our selection of travel apparel at shopredsquare.com and our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description. Thank you.